Hello Renetto, this is the Masked Analyst. I just got done watching your video explaining uh, why you said what you did the other day about uh, people being traitors and I realized that in your first video you kind of took it back toward the end that you realized that traitor was too strong a word to uh, to be used and I guess that's kind of fair enough but uh, whether you intended to or not, and I really don't believe you intended to, it looks to me like you definitely uh, hurt some people who really uh, held you in high esteem. In particular, I'm referring to uh, geriatric, 1927. And one thing that I didn't get out of the video tonight, it didn't sound, I didn't hear the words, I'm sorry, I apologize. I know from what you were saying, that you regret having done what you've done, you've, that you've made a bit of an ass of yourself, but that's one thing that uh, I, I really think you need to make a personal apology uh, to these other, uh, to the people that you've offended. And I, I'm, uh, I understand everybody makes mistakes, and uh, as you said, you are human, and, and I don't think that too much should be made of this issue. I am a little surprised, though, that you would even begin to think that this live video thing was a scam. Uh, just because they were trying to, uh, well, to hire the talent from YouTube? That's Capitalism 101. That's, uh, that's the way the game is played uh, in uh, many businesses. They have uh, the hire headhunters if, uh, and, and hire away the uh, offer raises to really talented individuals. Uh, it happens all the time. Uh, people go, uh, all other things being equal, people tend to go to the, where the money is. Or at least they consider going where the money is. Maybe they will have a sense of loyalty to their old organization and that's all well and good. But, uh, but because uh, of the competition, uh, people, uh, the talent tends to be much better off. In fact, I wonder if uh, YouTube would even be considering uh, the revenue sharing program if they didn't have competition breathing down their backs. Uh, let's face it, if you had a choice, if you were in their position and if you didn't have any competition and you had a choice, you could just let people post and not pay anyone anything and people would be posting anyway. Or you could start uh, shelling out money from your uh, coffers would you uh, shell out money if you didn't have to? If there was no competition, if there was nowhere else for them to go? Maybe you'd be generous and maybe uh, the people at Google are generous and they would be doing this, but uh, I'm a little skeptical and I've got to believe that uh, the reason they may be instituting this uh, profit sharing uh, program is because they have competition and they know it and if they are not willing to uh, shell out, shell out for the uh, top talent. The next guy will, and they'll hire, and, and people will leave. That's that's just uh, capitalism 101, and I don't get it. I just don't get where you uh, think there's anything scammy about this at all. Uh, it seems perfectly legitimate, to, legitimate to me. Now, those who do decide to go to live video or who are thinking about it, uh, there is. A considerable risk. Um, if live video doesn't catch on and if they fold, the question is can they come back to YouTube and expect YouTube to pay to pay uh, this uh, so-called renegade talent and that will all depend on how the people at YouTube uh, view uh, the, the people who have uh, left for, uh, for live video. Will they view them as irreplaceable talent and that they must shell out money now to keep them in, in order to keep them happy? Or will they think, hmm, do I want to reward this person or maybe promote somebody else? My feeling is that uh, there are very few people who are irreplaceable. There are a lot of people who want to be up in the top talent, uh, number one or two, and YouTube can easily push those who they think uh, Will, uh, will be loyal and those who they think uh, people will want to watch and so I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube is a bit more reluctant to go the extra mile for someone who's left for live video so of course anyone considering going to live video should take that into consideration but uh, 
again, I, I don't see where you got the idea that any of this was a scam. Maybe risky to go over to live video, but uh, that's what the markets are all about. Well, this has been the Masked Analyst under and in.